Hallelujah. No chain will remain on your life today. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. No matter how strong the chain is, it will break for you today. Whatever has held your life captive, today they will let you go by force today. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Your story will change in this service. Whatever veil has covered your destiny, it will be swallowed up today. I speak with authority, it will be swallowed up today. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Tell your neighbor, welcome to the new era of your life. Put your hands together for Jesus and please get seated. Praise God. Next Sunday is our financial fortune banquet. So every misfortune you have suffered financially will be wiped away from your life. And that service is to financial rest. If you are not saying amen, <laughs> you want stress, you want rest, God will give you rest. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. So ushers will be putting this in your hand, one, one. Now, and I want to emphasize our evangelism on Saturday is called mass evangelism, not few evangelism. It's not where two or three are gathered. It's called mass evangelism. If truly you are a son and daughter of Oyedeko, you should not be a rebel. Rebels fight instruction. He said, if I be your father, where is my honor? So come this Saturday, all of us, say with me, all of us. And for your information, when it is time for evangelism, there is no unit meeting. There is no what? Everybody must go, including me talking to you. I don't tell people go and I sit back and I lie. I must go. Because God does not pay title. Did you hear what I said? God does not pay title. He pays impute. So I must labor for my own to answer. So come this Saturday, every one of us will be on the go. Now the various outreach and the unit has been segmented to give it a more forceful drive and approach. For Tuesday, we have the CCU, Believers Foundation class, traffic, security, children, department unit, prayer band, technical, sanctuary keepers, and which one is Mata Cheto? That's a special unit. Powerful. Then on Thursday, we have ushering unit, choir, hospitality, media and creativity, medical, transport, protocol, and decoration. So if your own falls on Tuesday or on Thursday, unit leaders, you are responsible. If your people don't show up, it's you who will arrest will arrest you. Praise God. Why we made it this way is to give it more impact. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, everybody. So please, everyone, let's see it as part of the things that we need to do for God to smile on us, for heaven to open over our head, over our families. In Jesus' mighty name. If we have been hearing the testimonies of others from different places, ours is not an exception. And I believe God that what he's doing in the life of these other persons whom we are hearing their testimonies will also be partakers in the name of Jesus Christ. 
In this first service, we'll be focusing on the cause, breaking the cause of the firstborn. I like to begin by saying that generational causes are the most wicked weapons used by the devil to afflict destinies. And by my understanding, spiritual problem can only be solved by spiritual means, not natural means. There is no amount of money you can give to a firstborn that is cost that will make him prosper. If you like, go and build a house for a firstborn. He will still be living like someone that is in the garage. But we need to look at what are causes before we now picture the firstborn. A cause is a force working against a person or a group of people creating invisible barriers over their lives. A cause is a counter force that fights blessing from staying in the life of an individual. Look at some people, blessings can't stay in their life. A cause is an evil spiritual energy initiated by verbal pronouncements. A cause is a demonic mandate giving to powers to wreak havoc upon the person. A cause is a burden of backwardness, laboring under the burden of backwardness, laboring under a closed heaven. A cause also is struggling without corresponding fulfillment. If you check the labor many people have given, the result is not equal to their labor. And if you are working and you are not seeing corresponding results, there is need for you to go before the Lord to sort yourself out. A cause is a displacement from the place of destiny. You are displaced from glory. You are displaced from honor. Most firstborn in every family are usually the main focus. They are focus of attack. Of wicked forces. Usually, firstborns are the rallying points of every member of the family. And because of the privileged position they occupy, they are subject to satanic manipulations. They are subject to satanic disfavor. And whatever goes wrong in the life of the firstborn opens the door of the enemy to the rest. I will mention plenty of examples. And that's why if the firstborn in a home is carnal, expect trouble for everyone in that family. Whatever the firstborn cannot stop, obviously the others will carry the balance of the trouble. 
That's why the firstborn needs not just physical strength, it needs spiritual strength to stand in his place. And if he cannot stand in his place, he will battle throughout life. I'm not saying that challenges won't come. Challenges come to everybody. So the firstborn needs spiritual strength to stand in his place to enforce victory. I'd like us to understand that there is a satanic exchange of their actual destiny, placement, and honor. Psalm 78, let's read from verse 51. I'll also read um, Genesis chapter 9 and verse 22. And smote all the firstborn in Egypt, the chief of their strength in the tabernacle of Ham. What is particular about Ham? Let's look at Genesis chapter 9 and verse 22. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brethren without. Re go on. Go on. And Sham and Japhet took the garment and laid it upon both their shoulder and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father and their faces were backward, and they saw not their father's nakedness. The next verse, And Noah awoke from his wine, and knew that his younger son had done unto him. And he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants, shall he be unto his brethren. Did you get it? So most firstborn, uh, their destinies have been exchanged. By spiritual implication, they are figurehead. They will not occupy the top. Their portion is the bottom. Cost be Canaan. Canaan was owned by Ham. And a cause harmed him. That is why most families are in tears today because they are firstborns, they are under satanic siege and limitation. Satanic siege. Likewise, Adam happened to be the firstborn of all creation. He attracted the cause by disobedience. Am I correct? He attracted a curse by disobedience. And that curse ran through many generations. From Adam, we moved on to we moved on to Ishmael. Ishmael carried his own curse. From Ishmael, we moved on to Esau. Esau carried his own course. From Esau, we moved on to the firstborn of Jacob, who happened to be Reuben, who also packed another course. Am I correct? So, you can see from one face to the other, this course has been railing, moving. And because of the curse resting on the firstborn, they don't only struggle, they live pitiable. Everyone in the house is now donating money for them. Am I saying the truth? at it, it's not only that they are donating money for them, 
They can't take a stand. I've discovered that most firstborn, they cannot take a decision and stand by it. They are jittery. They are jittery, shaky. And because of their inconsistency and approach to matters, once issues are decided, they don't consider them first. But hear this. Any firstborn that is under a curse, today, the heavens will open over your head. In Galatians 3 and verse 13, scripture says, Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law. Being made a cause for us, for it is written, cause is everyone that hangeth upon a tree. The cause that came on the firstborn, Jesus came as the firstborn of the New Testament. To redeem us from that cause. So that we can take our rightful place of honor. Our rightful place of glory. Our rightful place of blessing. Abraham's firstborn Ishmael was under a cause too. Genesis 21 and verse 14. Genesis 21 and verse 14. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and took bread and a bottle of water and gave it unto Hagar, putting it on her shoulder and the child and sent her away. And she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Bathsheba. But I discovered something. The same blessing that came upon Isaac Answered in Ishmael. And that's why the whole Arab country now is owned by Ishmael. Kuwait, United Arab Emirates, Dubai. Are you around me? Oman, they are owned by who? Ishmael. Esau, being the firstborn, also was afflicted by this same thing. Even God himself said, Jacob have I loved. What did he do? What was his offense? But do you know what? Even though Jacob tricked him to collect the blessing, he still collected the same order of blessing that Jacob collected. Time we fail me to read that scripture now, but I may pass through it in the process. His father said, I have blessed him, and indeed he shall be blessed. And if you read through that blessing, he said, <laughs> let's read it, Genesis 27. We'll read it from verse 27 so that we can catch it. And he came near and kissed him and he smelled the smell of his raiment and blessed him and said, See, the smell of my son is as the smell of the field which the Lord has blessed. Look at the next verse. Therefore, God give thee of the dew of heaven and of the fatness of the earth and plenty corn and plenty of corn and wine. Look at the next verse. Let people serve thee. The same thing we saw in Ham. And nations bow to thee, be Lord over thy brethren. And let thy mother's sons bow down to thee. Cause be everyone that cursed thee, and blessed be he that blessed thee. Go on. And it came to pass, as soon as Isaac had made an end of blessing Jacob, and Jacob was yet cut, gone out from the presence of his presence of Isaac, his father, that Esau, his brother, came in from his hunting. And he came also, 
And he also made savory meat and brought it unto his father and said unto his father, let my father arise and eat of his son's venison that thy soul may bless me. And Isaac, his father, said unto him, Who art thou? And he said, I am thy son, thy firstborn Esau. And Isaac trembled very exceedingly and said, Who is he that had taken venison and brought it to me and have eaten of all before thou camest and have blessed him? Yea, and he shall be blessed. And when Esau heard the word of his father, he cried with a great and exceeding bitter cry and said unto his father, Bless me, even me also, O my father. And he said, Thy brother came with subtlety and had taken away thy blessing. And he said, Is he not rightly named Jacob? For he has supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright, and behold, now he had taken away my blessing. And he said, Has not thou reserved a blessing for me? And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy Lord, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants. And with corn and wine have I sustained him. And what shall I do now unto my son? And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing? My father, bless me, even me also. Oh, my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of the heavens above. And by thy sword shall thou live. And thou shalt serve thy brother. He repeated it again. But look at where his breakthrough started. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion. Thou shalt break his yoke off thy neck. Any yoke hanging upon you. I speak as a correct son of Oyedeko. That cause must leave you today. He gave him a blessing with a condition. You will get the blessing under one condition. When you have succeeded in removing the yoke. But hear me, you don't need to struggle to remove the yoke. There is a personality called the yoke destroyer. Scripture says it shall come to pass in that day. And today is that day. That the body shall be taken away. And his yoke shall be destroyed. The yoke can be broken. Uh, hear me and hear me well. I've seen curses destroyed like pure water. I believe God, any yoke hanging upon your head will live your life today. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Likewise, Reuben came under a curse. That curse lingered over a period of time until Moses arose in Deuteronomy. Is it Deuteronomy 33 verse 6 or thereabouts? He said, let Reuben live and not die. And let not his members be few. Reuben was placed, okay, look at it. Let Reuben live and not die. And let not his men be few. Which means they have been Causes can program you for smallness. When you are under a curse, you never achieve any big thing. You never achieve greatness. You'll be struggling to make things happen. Now, do you know the same thing happened to the sons of Joseph? When it was time to bless Ephraim and Manasseh, Instead of putting the right hand on his head, the thing shifted. That goes to let you know, that's why in the second service we are going to be dealing with the spirit of pattern. Pattern in families. But I want you to hear this. There is redemption 
cover for every first ball. Every firstborn in every family is not supposed to be a Nathaniel. It's supposed to be a Donatus. Nata, 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 Nata. You are supposed to be a donor, donor, donor. Am I saying something to somebody? A Natalian is always collected. I hope nobody's name is Natalian here. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Huh? But have you noticed if a firstborn is really doing well, you'll be receiving plenty phone calls. Am I correct? You'll be receiving plenty text messages. You say, Uncle, house rent. Uncle, school fees. Uncle, food has finished. <laughs> But if the first one is not doing well, they will ask, when is your Gary finishing? When last did you wear a suit? I won't forget one sister. The younger brother was doing well in the U.S., a medical doctor. He now said, okay, that he, should, he wants to prepare a visa for him to go to Germany at least. Do one or two things. Guess what happened? They have prepared visa, bought tickets, everything. Do you know what? He got to the airport that day. He waited and waited. Oh, they have not called this flight. Oh. It's not that they said the flight has canceled. He just got up. He said, it's not going again. He says, it's not going again, no. They escorted him or not that he went alone. So, so at least so that they can say bye-bye that he's entering play. So that they can say, this body has been lifted up our shoulder. He changed his mind. I'm not going again. Is it my first? You should leave me alone. Firstborn, behaving like Tata. They started crying at the airport. They began to plead with him. They began to plead with him. Hey, brother, go now. Say, they are bought tickets, everything. Hey, hey, brother, go now. Hey, brother, go now. <laughs> it's a clear indication that the evil powers of their father's house has vowed that he will not cross. They started crying. They pleaded with him. They pleaded with him, pleaded with him. He said, it's not going now. Is it by force to travel abroad? Is it by force? I'm not traveling. So finally, finally, he didn't travel. He said, ah, wait here to complete the story. <laughs> they now kept, stayed in Lagos. He said, okay, since you have reached, okay, let's get a house for you here so that whatever you can do, they say they should go and keep him in the hotel first. Still, they agreed. They now got a house for him in Lagos so that he can stay. So they, they were now asking him, which business will he do so that he, they can send money for him? He grew angry. Why are you people bothering yourself about my life? Before you know what's happening, he grew, he grew more angry. He stopped talking to everybody. And before you know what's happening again, he now said they should send him money so that he can be taking care of himself. The younger brother was still sending the money. So the mother now suggested, okay, let's do your marriage now. We are not asking you to bring money who will marry for you. They contributed money and marry for him. After some months, he said he get no fine. (laughs) 
Why are you laughing? The girl was laboring to help him become normal. He said she's not fine. At that point, his younger brother decided not to talk to him again. If he wants to go and jump inside the third main land bridge, he should just go. Now he now decided that he wants to travel. Yes. He now decided that he wants to travel. He traveled. The following week, he came back. He said, whatever he wants to be sending, he should be sending it. Let him stay here. He will bring cars. He was buying cars so that he will be selling and the, sponsoring the building that was taking place. He was eating the money, living well, chopping big. Hear me and hear me well. There are others whose cases are more terrible. Terrible. It's not too far. I have some in my village too. He's, he's their last born. Say, yeah, 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 first born. Say, you are just first born for mouth. He said, what have you been able to do for us? We are the ones sending money for you and your wife. And you just, early in the morning, you now title well and come and do like this. <laughs> hear me and hear me where we need to pray for first borns. There is an embargo over firstborns. You may be asking, is, are we not born again? We are born again. Are you aware of the covenant that your father has entered? Evil covenant strengthens bondage. And tie everyone in the family. How much more firstborn? That's why I thank God for the blood and for the anointing. The blood gives us access. The anointing comes as the yoke destroyer. If you can pray desperately from your heart today, whatever cause is hanging upon you as a firstborn or any firstborn in your family, the yoke can be broken. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better. Amen. amen. Scripture says, it shall come to pass in that day. Isaiah 10 and verse 27 Isaiah 10. It shall come to pass in that day that the body shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. He says his fan is in his hand. And he will thoroughly. Thoroughly. Purge our floor and burn. With unquenchable fire. 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 Unquenchable fire. In case you came with your own bottle. Rise up to your feet. Give mommy one. In case you didn't come with your own bottle, borrow. <laughs> yes, ma. We call it anointing service. You are coming with empty hand. If you didn't come with your own, borrow. <laughs> okay, okay. Pastor, have mercy on you. Okay. Yes, children department. Some people will go to children department. Uh, okay. Uh, they will borrow. Borrow. <laughs> but you can still dash them small from here. In Jesus' name. Scripture says, let not your head lack oil. Some people don't even have one at all. They're only waiting for Shiloh. <laughs> when in Shiloh, they will not carry six bottles of oil. As if they are going for a ritual. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Now, hear what I'm going to say. As we pray, any strong man that empowered cause, empowered any firstborn to be under torture, that strong man will die today. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. Yeah. If you are not born again before we pray, I will give you from my own, from this one. So you are going to share from this one. I will put it in your hand. Just put your right hand on your chest and pray after me. Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. In Jesus' name. If you pray that prayer with me, just come now. I want more of you. If you are coming, come on. We'll soon start to pray. I want more come, of come, you, come, come. Jesus. The more I know you, the more I want to know you, Jesus. More of you. I want more of you, Lord. I want more of you, Jesus. I want. Hallelujah. You are going to pray. Holy Ghost, you are the yoke destroyer. Whatever yoke is hanging upon me, upon my destiny, any curse upon me, hanging upon my life, by your fire swallow the works of the wicked put it upon your forehead now begin to pray every cause resting upon my life every invisible cause trailing my destiny embargo of causes hanging upon any firstborn by the fire of the Holy Ghost be destroyed fire of God destroy the causes swallow the roots of the causes any strong man delegated to enforce causes upon my life by the oil of the Lord be bounced off be destroyed. Lift up your voice and pray. Likutu senata. Pray kata eluta palish. Irodoto osa toto. Likota pa. Irekote peliota. Jekuta pale. Irade koto. Zegalabarado soto. Improperly, Alitaka. Pray! You have suffered it enough. Today is the last day. No cosmos prevail. Lakot 
Kusepa Irekligutala Berato Nagadeshata Irodododobo Suteta Liaku Zekanate Kute Rekle Ito Paratus Zenate Kaleriata Irododo Ezanate Kusha Resopei la taretes in dolo also not a kute. Fire of God swallow the curses. Lick up the evil water. Lick up the evil water. Invisible curses break by fire, break by fire. Lekatarados, embargo of curses be shattered by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be shattered. Jekutapa. Elodo, 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 Reza Zali Kutebre, Neraku Senata, Jekuta Berato, Enzodo Riklo Pariadeta. Likuko, Jekutako, Jenaria Kute, Riso Nake Prekete. Lekuta Pradia Zante Kaleta Lekoredo Sutapa Thank you Father Thank you Father In Jesus Mighty name We have prayed I'm going to pray for you now. I just remember one of our members in Refid. He was a victim of what we are talking about. Dogs will attack him. Cow will attack him in the dream. But after a pronouncement like this, a cow came again to attack him he got the cow by the horn and killed the cow. From that day, his days of struggle came to an end. One other young man, they just, I just got to hear about the testimony the week I was preparing to come to Lafia. He said, I was shy to give this testimony, but after you prayed that prayer, I said, which prayer? I don't play pray plenty prayer. He reminded me. He said after the prayer was prayed, chains were broken from his hand and his legs. For the first time in his life, he was able to buy lands in millions. If truly I'm sent to Lafia, the same grace is at work. Put your right hand on your head. Whatever force I vow not to let you go, I decree the strong man delegated after every firstborn. Fall down and die! Whatever has limited you in destiny, be shattered in the name of Jesus! Whatever has vowed to keep you on the same spot, I bury them by fire in the name of Jesus. The power that has kept you in shame, in reproach, I bail you out in the name of Jesus. I command your release in the name of Jesus. I bring you out of penury in the name of Jesus. 
every firstborn under struggle today mark the end of that reproach in the name of the God of Oyedepo Jesus Christ of Nazareth you are declared free today your days of smallness they are over every wilderness experience over your life I terminate it by fire from today you will go forward from today you will make progress from today good will locate you good will locate you <laughs> Bishop Abiyo prayed for me and my family one day he said come up to our, our realms of blessing I pray for you I bring you into a new realm of blessing Please take it all. I bring you into a new realm of blessing. I bring you and your family into a new realm of blessing. And I speak with grace and fire. It shall be well with you. Whoever is the strong man sitting over any firstborn. I kill that strong man in the name of Jesus. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Before this week is over, the strong man sitting upon any firstborn, you will hear they have been laid to rest. It shall be well with you. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Wave your hands on to God and give him praise. Everybody open your eye. Follow this man. Follow this man. Huh? Turn. Follow this man. Something has happened. Something has happened. Wave your hand on to God and give him thanks. Wave your hand and give him thanks. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Please you be seated. Second service, we are going to be focusing on breaking patterns over families. Pattern of poverty, pattern of barrenness, pattern of shame, patterns of affliction. Like was announced before, the transport offering. Like I said, we'll be collected once. We're not going to be saying every, every Sunday we'll not be collecting transport offering. Those of us that um, uh, covenanted with me that they will give you 1,000 naira monthly, not every Sunday. Just once in a month. If you came with your own, lift it up right now as we give glory to God. Rise up to your feet. Father, we thank you. We do this in honor of Jesus. As our hands are lifted, we decree financial open doors, financial change of story, financial repositioning. In Jesus' name we pray. We'll cast this offering as we take this brief announcement before we close. Like was announced before, we had to restructure our evangelism for maximum output and prayer is operation pray, go, bring, and what? Nurture. So Mondays, Fridays has been marked for specialized prayer session. Are you following me now? So Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturday will be for the uh, evening gospel read and Saturday is in the morning. Praise God. So we are doing this to generate more impact for 